Okay, so this mini lesson is about solving equations. It's standard 8EE7, which is broken apart into EE7A and EE7B. EE7A just asks how many solutions. We're trying to determine the number of solutions to um, an equation. So we're going to look at this first problem, number one. It says, does the equation have one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions? And explain. So let's go ahead and write down the problem, or I'll go ahead and write it, and then we'll solve it and determine, whoops, determine how many solutions it has. So the first step in solving an equation is to um, do any simplifying that we can do. In this problem, we could simplify using the distributive property. So I'm going to distribute this 2, that's the left of the parenthesis, and 2 times 3x is always multiplying, is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, equal. And then for this other um, side, we have 6 times 2, which is 12, and then 6 times positive x is positive 6x. Now, notice at this point that we have this term 6x on both sides of the equation. It's the same term on both sides, and it's now time to get rid of one of those since um, it's already simplified. And usually what we would do is we would get rid of one of these terms by doing the opposite. So this is positive 6x, so we'll subtract 6x from both sides. And in most cases, that'll just cancel out the x terms on one side. But since these were the same terms, they cancel on both sides. Because when you say 6x and you subtract 6x, you get 0x. There's no x's left. And so we have negative 2 equal 12 remaining. And at this point, we've got to think, is that true or false? Well, negative 2 is not equal to 12, so it's false. So, there is no solution to this equation. Number three, how many solutions does this equation have? Well, I'm going to start by writing my equation where I have a little more space to work it out. And so, so the first thing we do is simplify. <clears throat> we'll bring down this one. But then we have negative 1 half times 6x is negative 3x. Negative 1 half times negative 4 is positive 2. And then on this right side, 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times negative x is negative 3x. We'll look for any simplifying we can do. Notice on this left side that we have two... Uh, two terms, 1 and positive 2, that are just constants. So they are like terms. We can combine them. And when we combine them, 1 plus 2 is 3. And we'll bring down the negative 3x, and it equals 3 minus 3x. Notice that the left side is exactly the same as the right side of this equation. That means we will have an infinite number of solutions. We could go ahead and see what that looks like. I have an x term on both sides, and I'm going to get rid of one of them. So I'm going to add 3x to this left side to get rid of negative 3x. What do I do to one side of the equal sign? I must do to the other. And it cancels on the left side, and it happens to also cancel on the right side. And we end up with 3 equal 3. Now, is this true? Or false. It's true, so this is an infinite number of solutions. We could say it has infinitely many solutions. I'm going to zoom back out and look at the answer choices. That is answer choice D, infinitely many solutions. Our next standard, 8EE7B, is just solving equations. Sometimes you might get an equation that has no solution or infinitely many solutions, but we're just solving them. 
So we're going to start with this problem number three, which is solving the equation. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. So we're going to solve. We're going to start by simplifying. We'll do the distributive property on this left side. 4 fifths times x is just 4 fifths x. 4 fifths times 2 is just 8 fifths. And you could have written it as 1 and 3 fifths. Or you could have even changed to a decimal value. On this right side, notice that you have got like terms, 4x and negative x. Let's go ahead and combine those. 4x minus x is 3x. We'll bring down that minus 5. So now we have an equation where we have an x term on both sides. And I need to get rid of one of those. I can only leave x on one side of the equation. So I think I'm going to get rid of this 4 fifths x. So I'm going to subtract 4 fifths x from both sides. And it didn't matter which x term you got rid of. We could have subtracted 3x from both sides as well. They cancel on this left side. And what we end up with is 8 fifths equal. On this right side, 3x minus 4 fifths x is going to be 11 fifths x. We'll bring down the minus 5. Now, we've just got a little two-step equation. So we're going to box in our x term. That tells us we want to get that term by itself on the right side of the equal sign. So I'm going to get rid of this minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. So I'm going ahead and simplifying that into a mixed number. We've got 6 and 3 fifths equal. 11 fifths is just 2 and 1 fifth x. We're going to divide both sides by 2 and 1 fifth in order to get x by itself. And 6 and 3 fifths divided by 2 and 1 fifth is just 3. And so in solving this equation, we have found that x is 3. Number 8, steps are shown to solve the equation. Identify the error that was made, and what is the correct solution? So when I see a problem like this, I could approach it a couple different ways. I might go through and actually just start working this out on the side and seeing um, where my steps differ from what was given in the problem. The only problem with doing that is sometimes you might work a problem out in a different order than the order that the problem was worked out, and yet you were working it out correctly. It just, you win a different option. So I might just kind of glance through and see if I can find where an error was made. So here's what I might do. I'm going to go ahead and start by simplifying. I'd say, okay, negative 6 times 1, um, actually the problem's down here, so I'll just do it right here. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative x is positive 6x. So there should be a 6 there. So we have already found the error. Now, we want to identify the correct solution, so let's go ahead and just work this out on the side. I'm going to write the problem. Negative 6 times 1 minus x plus 3x equals 3 plus 3x plus 5. We're going to say negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative x is positive 6x. Bring down 3x equal. 3 plus 3x plus 5. Now on this left side, I've got like terms 6x plus 3x, which add up to 9x. And we'll just bring down that minus 6. On the right side, we have like terms 3 plus 5, which is 8. 
and then we'll just bring down that plus 3x. Now I have an x term on both sides and I want to get rid of one of those. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. I'm going to get 6x minus 6 equal 8. Now we just have a little two-step equation to solve. So we're going to box in our x term and get rid of what's on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And we get 6x equal 14. And then last, divide both sides by 6 to get x by itself. And x is 14 over 6, which would be, oops, which is 2 and 1 third. So we have identified the error and we have found the correct solution.